A bad bladder. Lieutenant Scarlet's feathers seem ruffled by some grave news out in the Twelve's Wood. Corporal and Wissif, we have ourselves a situation. Our scouts out at Etat's spire have sent word that the Ixal are attacking their position. They report that they have already weathered a sudden strafing, strafing run by one of the birdmen's blasted war balloons, and casualties were high. Have you ever seen these beastmen dirigibles? The Ixal stock them with explosive ammunitions and rain hell upon their targets below. Even should they float within bow range, the balloon skins are thick and difficult to penetrate. <laughs> Though it can be done. Thus the spires were constructed throughout the Twelves Wood of Gridania, first as Gridania's uh, first line of defense against assault from the air. Tis frustrating indeed, then, that recent conflicts have left them un undermanned. I need you to head into the North Shroud immediately and lend your strength to the garrison at Etot's spire. I am certain Captain Gru Gruthrit will appreciate the help. All right. Lieutenant Scarlet sent you, you say? Praise Nafika, though I believe the worst of the danger has passed. What few soldiers I command are both wounded and weary. Twas a well-placed shaft. Well-placed shaft is my strippin' name, chat. <laughs> that was our salvation. The private's arrow managed to punch a hole clear through the balloon's air bladders, forcing the Ixal vessel to flounder down into the trees. Ha, ah, you could hear the squawking from here. I must admit, however, the feeling to feeling a moment of dread at the thought of that war balloon slipping past and drifting over city walls. Thank the gods and certain private that such a fate did not come to pass. Nevertheless, we are in no shape to repel the Ixal should they prove... Oh, I'm not here. <laughs> should they prove able to press the attack. Pray head north into Peace Garden and see what has become of their downed craft. All right. Punishment box. All right, that's her. War balloon debris. I'm. Why can't I land? There we go. That was weird. All right. Did you find the downed balloon? Was the vessel yet sound? There you go. Hmm. I'm not sure if this came from the birdman's craft or is part of another contraption entirely. There can, however, be no doubt that it is of Ixil design. War balloons such as the one you saw were invented by the Ixil to assert their dominance over the skies. These vessels allow them to avoid or our ground-based patrols and infiltrate the Twelve's Wood with impunity. And the beastmen use them not only for acts of war, but also to haul away the trees felled by their ever-expanding logging prep operations. "'Twas to combat this unwelcome and destructive presence that we built guard towers throughout the forest, though I imagine the Ixal were quite displeased to find our borders thus reinforced. In fact, the primary purpose of this day's attack may well have been the destruction of the Etat's spire itself. I am torn, Corporal. We must not weaken our defenses here, but I would be certain our enemy does not lurk nearby, waiting an opportunity for sabotage.' I would ask you once more to visit the crash site and search the surrounding area for sign of our foes. I pray that my concerns are not more than an anxious workings of a tired mind. Okay. Ixal storage pot. Squawk! Get away from there! No feathers! Ours is... Ours to dismantle. War balloon is. Touch what is ours. You must not. Rights of salvage, yes? Rights of salvage. Enough. So much screeching and cawing when threatened. Nothing. Featherless one has. Squawk, Chief Totalock. Hold part, we saw it. No feathers does. Search through wreckage found we for nothing we did. Weak build fledgling, calm down, you will. Speak the featherless one, Zazul shall. Hmm, could be an artisan. No, clothing all wrong it is. Garb for honest work, it is not. Squawk, razor weapon not, Ixel. We are, but not same kind that attacked your tower. Balloon part you took. Value to you it is little, yes? 
have it from you, we would. Not by force, no. And not by for nothing. We make deal, yes? Inside gate, you sh you come. Show you our work in return, says Sewell Shell. But chief, mean to let Featherless one inside, you cannot. Spread our secrets, he will. Squawk, question chief, you will not. Says whose decision it is. Shut screechery beak. Before plucked and strung from the nearest tree branch you are. Fierce look, fe featherless one has. Look forward to next meeting, Sizzle does. Listen well, no feathers. If chiefs trust you dis betray, flay skin from worthless bones we shall. That's fair. That's valid. Squawk! Alright. Brave one, you are to walk into Ixel Den. No such camp existed. You did not, eh? Now, have that balloon part in your name, says a wood. Here you go. Yes, yes, Squawk. Searched long for this, we have. Thank you, Cat One Wissif. Now, you, what is this? What this is? Hmm? It is a special stone used for making instrument to spread, sp to read speed of wind. Only found in Zelfatal. Very rare. Even clever Sezu cannot build such instruments without it. Squawk? Seem confused, you do you? You do? You wonder why Sezu will not go to Zelfatal and fetch Stone himself, yes? Tell you why, Sezu will. We are not like Ixel of Natalan and other places. No fighting with forest people, outcasts we are. Call ourselves Ictal 9. Impressive, yes? Had nicer sound when than Ictal 20 or so. But. One purpose we have, to fly free like wind. For war with forest people or pleasing greedy goddess, we care not. Fixed on the heavens our eyes are. Okay. I think I have to be a botanist for this though. Da, 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 da. What? 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 Chat? Oh, it has to be a crafter? Fuck me. <laughs> I thought it was either or. Oh, motherfucker. I'm a crafter now. Look at me go. Every time I hear this song, it kind of sounds like it's starting to be like Final Fantasy X. Reaching for Cloud Nine. Suzu appears eager to share more of his work with you. All right. Hmm. A strange face you make, cat. Burning with questions, you are, yes? What is Ictal 9 exactly? Make myself clear, I did not, eh? Only natural, your suspicion is. Many Ixal would simply kill Featherless One and leave corpse for vultures. But think like bird brained Natalan zealots. Clever Zezul and his crew do not. Endlessly wasteful. This war with forest people is. Waste of time, waste of resources. Ictol 9 is a group of thinkers, of crafters. This place, Ictol, is a place for building dreams. To fly higher than any other Ictol 9's dream. But before we can fly, we make wings, we must. Good at thing making things, you are, yes? No leather worker when see one, says Will does. Way of moving, way of looking. Ka, ka, ka. <laughs> Clothing had says Will confused at first, though. Creating much better than destroying, yes? Both I Ixel and Featherless ones agree on that they can. Have Cat create something for Ixel 9, the er, Ectel 9, Sizzle would. Build many things we can, but not everything is possible in remote camp like this. You know a place called Fallgord Float, yes? Fine crafting facility they have. Perfect for making airship hull interior components. Leather-backed plywood is component Sizzle needs. Make for a strong and durable hull it will. Place order... For raw materials with Kikern, a uh, merchant, in Falgord Float, Cecil has. Cat need only speak with Junkmonger. Spend own coin, you need not. Squawk, a surprise for you, Cecil has. Protect and support hands when crafting tricky airship components, these gloves will. Even clever, clever leather worker needs help from time to time, eh? Come back soon, fearless, featherless one. So you have to wear... The Ecto gloves to do the Beast Tribe quest. Fun fact. Merchant, Master Merchant welcomes, welcome customer. Birdman Chief tells Master Merchant of Chief Makings. You take things for making and go to place for making things. You find making place at side of inn, not inside. 
Master Merchant thinks you have no time for thinking. Birdman Chief seems ready to burst at seams. Hildyard will give you helpful help. Okay, bye. Walked inside of me. Hello. Hello there, adventurer. Come now, I can hardly hear you. I said hello there. What's this? You wish to make use of our workshop? Well then, seeing as you're a first timer, allow me to give you a brief explanation of what we seek to accomplish here. As I'm sure you are aware, Eorzea is populated by, or populated with a plethora of artisans who create a range of wonderful wares. This workspace was created with just such a diversity of craftsmen in mind. No matter your profession, our facility is designed to allow simply anyone to bring their materials and produce goods that demand an exquisite degree of precision and polish. Our small operation here at the Bobbing Cork is only temporary until we secure a more permanent residence, but I assure you that everything is fully functional. Now, what exciting project has brought you to me this fine day? Jeez. What have we here? Ah, such strange coincidence that you should happen to arrive bearing the very same rare materials that... Hildyard, have you any word on my delivery? I don't know who this is. Oh, okay. Hmm? And who might this gentleman be? And why does he hold the component materials that I ordered? This is outrageous! You cannot simply swoop in and snatch up the wares I reserved a moon in advance. Please, Master Tata Tataramu. You misunderstand. This adventurer brought along these materials himself. Just brought them along, did he? Poppycock. What would a gill-grabbing mercenary need with airship hull component materials? Only a master engineer with the highest level of skill would be capable of utilizing the potential of such specialized items. And I highly doubt that anyone besides myself would have use for them. I shall be gracious, however, and allow that you are some manner of artisan. Pray tell, exactly what do you intend to craft with these materials? I am, of course, ignoring the fact that your efforts will invariably result in a botched job and waste of resources. Master Tataramu, this is hardly gentleman conduct. Hmm. Shall I offer a view of the finished product then? Go ahead, sir. Craft your wares, and I shall appraise you the quality of your work free of charge. Excuse me, tiny rude man? Master Tat Tataramu... I shall become cross with you if you continue in that tone. Here are your materials, sir. I'm sure whatever you create will be absolutely splendid. Should you choose to assist the Ictal Nine in their engineering efforts, you will be called upon to make use of special crafting facilities. First step of uh, using one of these crafting facilities is to present the raw materials to the workshop supervisor. After preparing the workspace, the supervisor will then return to you the exact amount of materials required for your specific task. You will next be allotted a certain amount of time in which to complete the synthesis. Should your synthesis efforts prove unsuccessful, speak with the workshop supervisor and once more to retrieve access, excess materials and renew your access, access to the crafting facility. To begin the crafting process, open crafting log from the main menu, follow special recipes, next tribal quests, then lastly, exo quests located in desired recipe. Oh my word. All right. Oh, I have four minutes. Let's go. Ah! Uh, Ixo quests. So, whole interior component. This one. All right. I can literally only do one thing. I can't do high quality, so. My first dice set is here. I've been rolling them and I love them. That's exciting, Mark. That's so exciting, Ark. I almost said Ark. Mark. <laughs> Yo, I love it when I get new dice. It's so good. Uh, I have it. Yeah. Look at my shit, bitch. Craft away, sir. I'll be waiting to appraise the results of your expertise. There, bitch. God. All done, are we? Now let's have a look at the travesty you've made out of... Gods be good. I can scarce believe it. The craftsmanship is exemplary. And you say this component is to be used in the construction of an airship? I cannot even imagine what type of hull you mean to build. Tell me, adventurer, who commissioned this work from you? I must know. I'm a Vembo. I must say, Ixel. Oh, what? Why, that's incredible! 
Not to mention fascinating, though I must wonder how one came to commission an adventurer for airship parts. There was an odd rumor making the rounds amongst the engineers at the company. They say a group of Ixel had carved out a secret camp at the Black Shroud and were conducting trials for some kind of secret weapon. I had thought the idle gossip at the time, but twould appear the tale held merit, after all. Your Ixel master seeks to craft an airborne vessel of war. I will not allow it. Transforming the wonder of air travel into a means for delivering death is a blasphemy of the highest order. Wait, sir. But Master Tataramu, what do you mean to do? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to march right into that secret camp and give those blasted birdmen a good telling off. You'd best stay out of my way. Sir, what if they tried to kill you? But you cannot simply... <sighs> when it comes to airships, I'm afraid Master Tataramu's passion overpowers his capacity for common sense. I wonder if he has any idea where he's going. Here, you'd best take your finished component and complete the delivery. Your appraiser appears to have forgotten in his, in his haste to rush off and chastise the Ixel. Hmm? Just who is Master Tataramu? I could tell you, but that wouldn't be very exciting now, would it? Perhaps you might ask him for yourself. Okay. Rude. Squawk, squawk! Returned you have. Able to craft component you were. I was. Hi, Dark Sky. Mm -hmm. Oh. Made this, you did? Hmm, hmm, yes. Serve us you well, you this will. Begin construction on hole we can. Ah! Ah! <sighs> I finally found you. I never realized just how big this force was. Who is this small, angry, featherless one? Never mind who I am. Tis you who are on trial here. Are you not the Ixel Master who seeks to build a death-dealing airship and bring war and destruction to Gridania? Have you no respect for the virtuous field of engineering your uncloth plan will... In irretrievably sully weapons on an airship simply monstrous squawk mind your tongue you shall making airship with weapons Cecil is not been telling tall tales someone has do not try to deny it I have seen how the Ixos stole our technology to build those horrendous war balloons your kind know not but killing and mayhem squawk blather too much angry one does sees not enough Look at design under own feet, you should. This schematic, it contains elements of both dirigible and airship. I've never seen like this, the like. Hybrid vessel Dezu Qualan it is. Fly very high it shall. Ceiling altitude of 5,000 yalms. 5,000 yalms, that's impossible. An unattainable fantasy. Why, even Master Garland's Enterprise cannot reach such heights. You speak of visiting the heavens themselves. Yes, the heavens. Rap on God's front door, we shall. Knock, knock. <laughs> Eighth land. Eight land. Or eight land? Floating continent of legends it is. High, high above the clouds. Place where Caesar's ancestors once lived. Return to Ixel's lost paradise, we shall. All-consuming goal of Caesar's people it once was. But this dream, shared now by too few it is, rather worship mad goddess Garuda and squabble with fearless one, featherless ones. Now land Ixelwood. Waste of life, Sizu says. Help Ixel 9 build balloon airship hybrid and reach for distant sky, other Ixel should. What an incredible idea. You have such vision, such zeal. Sizu, I... I have misjudged you. You must let me work with you. I will see this dream of yours become reality. <laughs> Squawk? Wish to join Cecil's crew, crew, do you? Possess some skill at crafting, do you? Yes? I I yes, I have studied airship design most extensively, and though my practical experience is admittedly limited, I vow that there are none who match my passion for the craft. Important passion is, but knowledge, too, you must have. Hmm. Work you as hard as other Sisu will. Be spared for your size. You will not. Thank you, sir. You will not regret this. Tadaramu at your service. 
All right. Let's go. And what of Cat? Impressed with work, Cecil is. Enjoy crafting with Cecil's gloves, did you? Like second skin, yes? Protect hands, but allow artisan to make delicate and difficult movements they do. Agree to help Ictal 9 build Dezul Quilan and help let Cat keep gloves, Cecil will. What say you, featherless one? Sprout wings and fly with us, yes? Sprout wings I will. Afraid of heights I am. <laughs> Squawk feathers of the spirit we share. Hard to imagine to look at us now it is, but an age when Ixel flew on power of their own wings, there once was. Sad then, that wrath of elementals was we incurred. Hmm, banished from forests and stripped of gift of flight we were. With younglings hatched outside of forests, something wrong there was. Stunted their feathers were, but lose desire to soar, Ixel never did. In place of lost wings, great balloons Cecil's forefathers made. Such ingenuity. Seek to continue their legacy, Ixel 9 does. But forgotten joy of crafting own wings, Natal and Ixel have. Grovel instead of god to goddess, they do. Grovel and beg. Fools, grant them new wings, Garuda never will. Seek only to increase their might, the goddess does. Always more sacrifices, always more crystals. Nothing more than slaves, Natalan Ixel are, but not Ixel 9, no. Soar once again, we shall. Within Dizzle Quilan, our salvation, our waking dream lies. Work hard and see history written, Cat shall. All right, I shall. Oh. Try, okay. There, oh, why am I away then? What the fuck? We're now neutral. Okay. Oh, no, that's why I'm away. Okay. We get to see them slowly build this thing, which is kind of cute to see a little bit of progress. Thanks to your efforts, construction of Dezul Kolan's hull has begun. Continue assisting the Ictal 9 to see the airship hybrid reach completion. Bird is the word. Bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. It's bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. Oh, I'm already on level five. Damn. Sezul! A designer job. Sezul appears concerned for the well-being of one of his crew. All right. Squawk! Cat! I ask for you. Sezul has. In Sezul's crew, mechanical engineer by the name of Bozul... Bozul Eduan there is. Left camp to acquire component materials for engine, Bozul did. But return he does not. Without a vital part of propulsion system, continue with construction we cannot. Squawk! Have Cat search for missing Bozel and drag him back here, says it would. Hmm. Went somewhere to south, Engineer did. Yes, somewhere south. Okay. Bezel. Bo Bozel. Squawk, Bozel's arm. Squawk, stay back, hmm? Come at Chief Total Lock's orders, do you have? No, away with you. Be caught by others, fe Featherless One, Will. Oh, shit. Um, I'm not equipped to fight, so I hope this isn't a fight. Ka, ka, ka. Yet try to flutter free, do you? Hard to fly on broken wing, yes? finished our game with you we have not enough fun you have had <laughs> miss your fawning presence your goddess will squawk such an insolent screeching make self target for torment you do enough pointless resistance time to rejoin flock and devote yourself to divine garuda it is excuse me squawk where did you come from no feathers this one's pet, are you? Cease your glaring or snap your arm too, Chieftain Will. I glare more. Go, return to Sniveling Sezu and give him his message. You shall. Cease this skulking about in the forest he must, or find himself a crew buried beneath bows he will. Bows? Answer now to goddess Holixel do. Divine Garuda, terrible and beautiful Garuda. Sounds like an unhealthy relationship.
All right. Oh, he is inside me. <sighs> Glad they tired of their sport I am. Based on logging sounds, that chieftain is. Take an action of Ectel 9 is personal insult he has. Uh, Bozel's arm. Useless it is. Ruined Bozel for his craft they have. Wish to rely on Featherless one Bozel does not, but take these materials you must. Oh, necessary for crafting high quality engine component they are, Squawk. Without components, the really proportion engine remains incomplete. Build vibration absorbing cushioning we must. Artisan you are, yes. Leave this task in your hands, Bozo shall. At place your people call Tree Speak Stables. Find well equipped workshop you will. Unlike Bozo, need for sneaking in and using at night you have not. Squawk, burn like fire, Bozo's arm does. Go, featherless one, must do what Bozo cannot. Can we give him like a potion? Damn, poor dude. Greetings. The crafting facility here at Tree Speak Stables is primarily for the purpose of forging tools for the stable hands, but our doors, assuming we had any, are open to all. Oh, I see you have some quality materials you wish to process. Our workshop may not be located in the fanciest of establishments, but I will personally vouch for the integrity of each and every piece of equipment. Now, having inspected your materials, I believe I have calculated the optimum amount required to craft the component you have in mind. I shall hold on to the excess while you work your synthetic magic. Okay. It has to be high quality. So you can see in the corner there by the the a designer job quest, it has that little high quality symbol. So it has to actually be high quality. So I have to make a propulsion engine component. Oh, it'll be fine. I got you. Also, if you get close enough, like 50%, 75% quality, but can't finish it, but can finish progress, um, it has a percent chance of being high quality is what that percentage is. So you still possibly could make high quality. I just like to do the 100% so it's guaranteed. Hi, Seizu. I'm on your... I'm sorry, I'm on your <laughs> blueprints. Squawk worried for Cat Sazel was. Returned and explained all Bozel did. Snapping of bones, nasty chieftain's threats. Prevent Cat from crafting components, Sazel feared he would. We good, I got it. Oh. Very good, very good. Oh, Cat, two beakfuls of gratitude, Sazel does. First uh, for finding Bozel, and second for crafting engine component. Being tended for injury, Bozel is. Short-sighted thugs. They can pray all day to goddess, but grow back flying feathers. It will not. Uh, yet air in abundance they have. Right here. Between their own ears. Squawk. <laughs> that was good. This goddess. You speak of worshipping the primal Garuda, yes? Worship, yes. No means of mechanical propulsion have balloons. Slave to whims of wind they are. To control direction of their vessels, make use of enchanted air stones, they do. Infused with blessings of Garuda, these fa artifacts are. Stone creates wind. Wind moves balloon. Simple concept, but efficient and effective it is not. And always costly. Gifts of goddess are. Squawk, feather demon. Promise Ixel much, goddess does. But work only to satisfy Garuda's cruel desires, Suzo's people do. Answer their fervent prayers, goddess never will. That is why Ectol 9 broke ties with Garuda. Rely on own skill and perseverance, we shall. Prefer to adopt Featherless One's technology, we do. That explains the hostile attitude of the logging uh, grounds chieftain. He sees the Ectol 9 as heretics and betrays of, betrayers of their own kind. Yes, think us worst kind of Ixel they do. Ka, ka, ka! And, but also intend to lie at feet of Tata Ramu's chieftains, we do not. Fly, we shall. Fly beyond the clouds. Yet, yeah, take much more time now, it will. Wait until Bozo's arm is healed, we must. Draft technical designs for Duzel Dezul Quilan. No one else can. Sezul, if you need someone to draft airship designs, then I'm your Lalafell. Training, you say you have. But what of patience, hmm? Or dedication? Regret making offer lightly, you will. 
I am as serious as I have ever been. In fact, I have already started drafting improvements to your engine assembly. By incorporating my ideas, I believe you can reduce the weight of the propulsion system by 20% while still retaining its current power output. Toy with our dream, you must not. Should Tataramu's designs be flawed, your use, use of use skin for covering vessel's wing sizzle will. Hmm. Tataramu draws designs and Cat crafts components. Very odd indeed, says those cruel has be crew has become. Squawk, so be it. Now official members of Victal 9 you are. Continue reaching for Sky, we shall. Let's go. We did it. Reputation up. I'm now recognized. Ba -ba -da -ba. Oh, I forgot. Now we get to see it improve. Aw, look at those additions. Thanks to your diligent efforts, construction of the days of Quillan's tail assembly has begun. Continue assisting the Ictal 9 to see the airship hybrid reach completion. Hey, and I'm level 19. I'm already almost level 20. Let's go. The boy from Gridania. Tataramu has encountered a bump in the road towards completing the Dezo Quillan. Ho oh there, cat. Construction of the airship proceeds apace. Our beastman colleagues have been agreed, have even agreed to implement several of my proposals. However, inadvertent as it was, it was, I must thank you for introducing me to this opportunity. That I should have the chance to contribute to such a revolutionary project is exactly the sort of thing I dreamed of as I poured over countless tomes on aeronautic principle and design. There is, however, one small issue that has arisen to thwart us. In order to properly integrate my innovations, we require certain materials to build a custom engine jointing component. Materials that are notoriously difficult to procure. I had hoped it would not come to this, but I must call upon the aid of an acquaintance of mine. Cat, would you be so kind as to deliver this letter to the gentleman by the name of Coulson? I am certain that he will agree to prepare the materials and keep the matter entire matter discreet. Now, Coulson is often out and about on company business, but speak with Hida at the airship ticket counter in Gridania, and she will point you towards his latest appointment. My apologies, Kat. I do not mean to treat you as a lackey, but I prefer to avoid the city for the time being. Bro, same. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking same! But it's fine. Welcome to the airship landing. I'm sorry, was there aught else that I might help you with, sir? You wish to meet with advisor Coulson? Delivering a letter from Tataramu, you say? <gasps> Surely you don't mean Master Tataramu. You've seen him? Is he hale and unharmed? You must take yourself directly to Quiver's Hold. Chasselsoup Chasseloop <laughs> will wish you uh speak with him at will wish to speak with you in person. You will find Advisor Coulson there as well, assisting with the investigation. Swiftly now, please, sir. The fuck did you do, buddy? I'm sorry, sir, but I cannot assist you at this time. The God's Quiver is fully engaged with investigating a most important case. Every resource at our disposal has been allocated towards locating Chairman Tata B Baru's missing son. Even now, the Chairman's chief aide... Advisor Coulson awaits within Quiver's Hold, no doubt eager to berate the first bow for our lack of progress. Hmm? Coulson is the person you've come to see? Then I must ask you to mind your words. I can't have you antagonizing the esteemed representative for of High Winds Skyways. Oh no. Hi, Coulson. Yes, yes, I am Coulson, but this is hardly the time for... Hmm? A letter for me? Let's have it then, son. Time is of the essence, you know, especially at my age. Here you go. Great gods, this is signed by Master Tataramu? How have you come by this document? Is the young master well? What's that, you say? Esconced? In the company of Ixel? Then we have not a moment to lose. Should it cost me my very life, I shall see him freed of their ravenous clutches. Did you read the note? We'll need to form a rescue party. Yes, the finest god's quiver marksmen are reinforced by a small army of Skyway's retainers. Be brave, Master Tartaramu. Those beastmen will sh soon rue the day they dared lay talons on my young charge. 
Advisor, calm down. This no longer concerns you, young man. We must immediately... Wait, what? You mean to say Tataruma is safe? Tataramu. He's there of his own free will? Building an airship with the Ixel? Wait, 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 wait. Perhaps we must needs begin fresh. As you are obviously aware, my name is Coulson, and I am the chief technical advisor of Sky High Wind Skyways and aide to chairman Tata Baru. Pleased to make your acquaintance. What you have may not have known is that the man you asked, who asked you to deliver this letter is the chairman's only son and the sole successor to a veritable ship empire. Airship empire. Some few days ago, Ta Master Tataramu accompanied me here to Gridania as part of his continuing education on company practices. Much to my surprise in Alurum, however, the young master suddenly disappeared from under my very nose. While I was naturally beset by all manner of horrible imaginings, with no ransom demand or other clue in his to his whereabouts, I had no choice but to ask God's quiver with, with turning the entire city upside down. Suffice it to say, your news has lifted a terrible weight from my shoulders. I now know not. I know not how I would have faced the boy's father had events unfolded otherwise. And yet, the contents of this letter still managed to vex me. Dear Coulson, enclosed is a list of materials I would have you prepare for my companion. I require them for the most exciting project. Fond regards, Tataramu. Not one word of apology or even the slightest hint of contrition. Contrition? My lectures on the privilege and responsibility of position appear to have fallen on deaf ears. And as for this list, I'm assuming these are materials for some manner of high-quality jointing component. A leather-bound frame to absorb engine vibration, yes? Hmm, I am sorely tempted to refuse this impertinent request, considering the trouble the young master has caused, but I am also intrigued. Here, take this promissory note and hand it to the supervisor of the Falgord Float Crafting Facility. She will provide you with everything required to craft Tataramu's component. Though I yet harbor some concerns, I will trust that Master Tataramu is content to work alongside these Ixil for now. Ah, thank you for trusting him. Hello again, adventurer. Come now. I can hardly hear you. I said hello again. Bitch, why do you keep saying that? Oh my, this note it has a seal of high wind skyways. Though I suppose it only stands to reason, there are a few other organizations that could afford the items you're requesting. Here you are then. Everything is in order for you to begin crafting. Thank you. Ugh. Please hold. And I need to do engine jointing. Joining component. Jointing. It is joining. Jointing. Oh my word. I can words good. Hell yeah. How is gay ever bad? Never. It was very gay in a good way. Hell yeah. Cat, you were gone so long I was beginning to worry. Were you able to deliver my letter to Coulson? Here you go. Yes, this is exactly what I had in mind. Jointing components like this one are almost impossible to obtain without a cloud of a company like High Wind Skyways behind you. But with your expertly crafted component now in hand, we should have no trouble integrating my improved engine housing into the De Dezul Quilan. I can already feel the bracing chill of the wind on my face. Hear the cries of the birds. See the folk below rushing about like tiny... <clears throat> Pray excuse my little flights of fancy terrible habit of mine. So, Cat, I suppose you heard from old Coulson who I really am then? Yes, tis true. My father is the chairman of Highway High Wind Skyways, the expansive airship service that links the great cities of Eorzea. Destined as I am one day to take the company's helm, people everywhere seek to curry my favor as they would some merchant prince. A pity, then, that my royal status does not excuse me from an unrelenting procession of dreary lessons at home. I am forced to study mercant mercantile practices, business strategies, all that I might maximize the profits of airship travel. But I have not the slightest interest in making coin. I have had enough of ledgers and lectures. Thus was I so reluctant to leave this little sanctuary. 
I want to design airships, not manage a fleet of them. I want to be valued not for my station or my purse, but for my skills I have labored to acquire. Mayhaps you hear not but the whining of a spoiled child, yet I swear to you, I would renounce my inheritance in a twinkle if I could. Twinkling. Twinkle? Oh, for the wings of wondrous airship to carry me further, faster, and higher than ever before. That is my dream. That and aught else. Squawk, well said that was. And me nothing to us, Tataramu's, uh, Tataramu's wealth does. Better off smelting down coins and making nails, Sezzle thinks. Thank you, Sezzle. Squawk, squawk, seize this passion and let it sustain you. We must... Construction of Dezu Quolan will take all that Tatar Tataramu has and more. Chosen an easy path, Tataramu has not. No, not easy, but always fair, Master. Crafting is great reward for great effort. Launch our, launch our vessel upon uh, ocean cl of clouds, we shall. Launch into towards gates of Ayatolan. Ready to fly is Tataramu, yes? Yes, yes, sir. Or it's more like, yes, yes, sir. But it's fine. I just fucked that up all over the place. Reputation up. Now we're friendly. Da, 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 da. Oh, shit, wait. Yeah, look at it grow. Yeah, look at it change. Fun. Thanks to your diligent efforts, the engine housing has now been integrated into the Dezo Quilan's tail assembly. Continue assisting the Ictol 9 to see the airship hybrid reach completion. Progress. Da, da, da. Bird is the word too. Bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. The bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. Okay, anyway. Lathe to the party. Squawk? Need have cat's help, Suzel do does. So close, so close we were. Taking shape before our very eyes, Dezo Quilan is. Hull for body, engine for heart. Next fashion muscle to tra transfer power to wings we must. Developed by Featherless One, Ceruleum technology was. Very advanced. First Ixel in history to design and build our own engine we are. Function perfectly, main engine components do. Uh, flawless as Tataramu's design and abundance of materials for upcoming task we have. But tiny problem there is. Maybe not so tiny, Squawk. Machine tool for cutting transmission parts we have not. Many intricate gears and cogs harness power produced by engine. Propel, pro, propel propulsion system they do. With one precision gear wheel, then make lathe to grind such parts we could. Our best hope, Cat, is beg, borrow, steal, but we have, but have that gear wheel, we must. Only featherless ones have item we seek. Rest on Cat's shoulders, fate of Dezo Kalan does. Okay. I was listening in on Sezu's lamentations. Twould seem we are in a need of a new lathe, or failing that, a part that will allow us to build one. A gear wheel such as the one we seek must be of the highest degree of worksmanship. Should it be wrapped warped by even the smallest fraction, that imperfection will be reflected in the turning of the lathe and make the crafting of precision components impossible. No, it must be made one it must be one made to extremely exact specifications. I speak of the difference of a single's hair width here. In the entire realm of Eorzea, I could count on the fingers of one hand the master artisans who are capable of forging such a piece. And even should we be so fortunate as to secure the services of such a talented individual, we must consider the time it would take to craft the gear wheel. Our project might languish for weeks, not for if not months. It would be far better were we to focus on obtaining an existing gear wheel, and then somehow convincing the owner to part with it. Hmm. A lathe, a lathe. Now, where have I seen a lathe before? Ah, yes, I have vague memories of seeing one in my grandfather's shop, which was somewhere outside the city. Cat, that's it. You must return to Gridani and speak to Colson once more. He's been with High Wind Skyways since the beginning. 
if anyone were to know what's become of my grandfather's lathe, twould be Coulson. He will likely be in or around the Carleen Canopy. The old man is never far from the airships when not attending to business. Okay. We'll just return. Yes, yes, I remember you. I don't really remember his voice. My eyesight might be failing, but my mind is yet sharp. Thank you very much. You're the lad Master Tataramu employed as his delivery boy. Surely the materials I provide you with were sufficient, yes? Hmm? The young master wishes to know what became of the lathe from his grandfather's workshop. Well, now that does bring back memories. It must be nigh on 50 years ago that I began my apprenticeship with Tata Nora, a famous adventurer and businessman. I still recall the day he convinced his revolutionary enterprise conceived conceived a revolutionary enterprise he proposed the idea of building passenger balloons that shared the principle if not the purpose of Ixel dirigibles his company was the very first air travel service in the realm and marked the birth of high wind skies skyways of course it was not until around 30 years later when Sid Garland brought airship technology to Eorzea that flights between cities became a regular occurrence those were the days though if I close my eyes, I can still see the workshop, can still hear the excited optimism of Tatanora, and I worked tirelessly on the construction of that first balloon. <laughs> Pray excuse an old man his reminiscing. What were we speaking of? Oh yes, lathes. I believe the lathe master Tataramu refers to was the one we used in the old Faldgord workshop. But I'm afraid that place was shut down and dismantled for lumber after Tatabaru assumed management of the company. It was the end of an era, after all. I wonder if there are still any in Falgord who remember that time. Perhaps you might try speaking with the employees of Bob and Cork? Okay. Welcome to the Bob and Cork, friend. Will you be needing a room? No. You've come for a drink and some gossip, then. A lathe? I'm afraid I'm unfamiliar with the term. Some manner of tool from the old Skyways workshop that used to stand here in Falgord. Uh, a pity our previous owner has moved on. Ten years I've worked here, but never have I heard of any such a workshop. Hmm. Well, I may know not of any lathe, but we do have a mountain of unclaimed possessions that we've been adding to since the dawn of bloody time. The inn has the largest storeroom in town, you see, and it's a favored reliquary of all manner of unwanted or forgotten artifacts that once belonged to either residents or customers. Only just this morning I thought to clear some space by throwing away the oldest and dustiest relics. You're more than welcome to sift through the pile outside and take whatever you wish. What's outside? Because apparently I know what one looks like. Cat, is that what I think it is? The gear wheel from the lathe! I came to fall gourd on the barest of remembrances, but I'm certainly glad I did. The workshop itself is gone, but some things are too precious to simply fling into a maiden, midden heap. One of the artisans must have saved it. My grandfather was always well respected, you see, and even in his later years, he would take me to see the workers practicing their trade. Listen well, Tataramu, he would say. Coin is of, has its uses, but aught of true value is brought with passion and persistence. To reach the highest skies, you must spread your wings and soar. His words of wisdom were as the sweetest lullabies to me as a child. T'was likely his influence that encouraged me to pursue my love of airship design. Hmm, what's this? The face of the gear wheel is engraved with a dedication of some kind. From my dear friend, Dezu Quilon. On these wings I pledge our everlasting bond. Tata Nora. Excuse me? But, but this would mean... They were banging! I'm sorry. Cat, let us return to Ectol and deliver the treasure to Cecil without delay. There are some questions to which our Ixo colleagues may hold the answers. <gasps> Was there a forbidden romance? No, I think it's just supposed to be a partnership, but still. Squawk, nervously waiting for Cat's return, Cecil was. Releasing decidedly unblessed wind bowels were. Oh, sir, did you just say you were passing gas? Is that what you just openly admitted to me? I did not need to know, Cecil. Are we that close? I guess we're that close. I don't... <laughs> uh. 
ka ka ka. Yes, exactly what we need. This gear wheel is good, 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 good. Edging much closer. To <laughs> choice of words, sir. Much closer to reality. Dream of Dezo Quilanes. Sizul, there is something I would ask you. Pale to ta Tataramu looks. Nervous belly like Suzul. Ask permission to use latrine trench. Tataramu need not. Uh, no, I... Perhaps you should just read the inscription on the gear wheel. Hmm? Inscription? Ah, these see tiny words Cecil does not. Oh, for my dear friend, Diesel Quilon. On these wings I pledge our everlasting bond. Tata Nora. Tata Nora is my grandsire. He is the man who founded Highwind Skyways 40 years ago. And I'm fairly certain we've all heard that second name before. Ka ka! Ka ka ka, squack! <laughs> Care to share the source of your amusement, Cecil? Too perfect it is. Destined to fall into our hands, this gear will has. Dezel Quilan, outcast and genius, first chief of Act 9, master balloon maker, and Cecil's respected mentor. Your mentor? Then the name of our hybrid ship? Yes, one and the same. Think of better way to honor chief's memory, Cecil could not. Then it is true. Squawk? I speak of an old rumor. Twas said that grandfather's company was built on his appropriation of beastman aeronautics. That all the balloons he flew were not more than the baseline limitations, uh, imitations of Ixel made vessels. Tis a rumor that was officially denied, and any mention of ha has been thoroughly expunged from written records on the assertion that even unfounded claims of stolen beastman technology would unduly harm Highwind's high wind skyway's reputation i thought it merely the rumblings of rivals sick with envy at grandfather's success yes envy it was squawk envy that led to your ancestors to steal our genius thieves thieves and liars Cecil, i ka 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 Pulling Tata Mar Ramu's tail feather, Sizu was. Judging by words on gear wheel, stolen from us, this knowledge was not. Friends they were. Shared craft with Tata Ramu's grandfather, Dezul Kualan did. See it clearly, Sizul can. Two dreamers gazing into vast sky, one feathered and one not. Not so different our past and present, eh? Fate has a handful, has had a hand in our meeting, it would seem. I am honored to continue the friendship our elders began, Cecil to Totalock. Squawk! Dust in Cecil's eye there is! Back to work! Swiftly now! Or fine tongue shortened on new lathe, Tatamaru will. Tataramu. Damn it. Hey! Da 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 da. Reputation up, we're now trusted. Da, 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 da. And look. Look at the beauty that is this airship. Thanks to your dil diligent efforts, Seizu's crew can now use their new lathe to craft the gears and cogs that will transfer power from the engine to the wings. Continuing assisting the Ecto-9 to see the airship. Wait, I'm sorry, we're not done? Level up! No, they're trusted. <gasps> oh no. They have more. Why do the Ixel have more? Oh shit! <laughs> I thought we were gonna finish that. I guess not. Oh damn. How far do the Ixel go specifically? Standing at the helm. Who the fuck is that? Mustache. Evil. Obviously. Tataramu wishes you to assist him in procuring another part for the Dezu Quilan. <sighs> Greetings, Cat. With the Ceruleum engine now integrated, the Dezu Quilan is entering the final stages of construction. Not long now. Not long at all. Once this airship is proven skyworthy, the field of aeronautics will never be the same again. There is, however, another favor I would ask of you. Are you familiar with Geralt, the master weaponsmith who resides in Hurstmill? We have, 
We will have need of his legendary smithing talents if we are to complete our steering mechanism, the helm of the Dezu Quilan. Only he can properly combine and align the necessary components. Pray take these materials to Geralt and request that he aid us in our endeavor. Okay. I know Geralt. Take your business elsewhere, adventurer. I'm busy enough. And had my he me head feels like a kettle what some bastard's trying to pound the dents out of. That's because you drink too much, sir. Wait, who's saying this? Who the fuck's Drake? Oh, you? That that man over there. Okay. Pay no mind to Master Geralt, good sir. His temper is as short as his night of carousing was long. Now, what do you have that needs mending? A kettle? A co cook pot? Nothing of the sort. Hmm. Well, if you don't mind dealing with an apprentice, I should be happy to hear the details of your request. I mean... Now then, sir, what matter, what manner of task has brought you to our humble forage? This? Ah, a custom-made helm to fit a new breed of sh airship. Tricky. I can understand why you would seek Master Geralt's expertise. Though he is first and foremost a forge of weapons, forger of weapons, the masterpieces he creates demand a flair for innovation and an eye for the mu minutest of details. Should he turn his hand to crafting your vessel's helm, then I can promise you that the end result will be unparalleled quality. As you have witnessed, however, the master's present demeanor falls somewhat short of amenable. Beyond the threat of debt collection, there is little that will convince him to take up this hammer. He's literally hammering something right now. Are you yourself not an artisan of some skill? Then allow me to suggest that you take a portion of these materials and craft the finest helm handles you can manage. The sight of such painstaking workmanship uh, should ha serve to stir the embers of professional curiosity in Master Gerald's soul. Despite his grumbling, he is not one to back down from a challenge. Here, I shall return your materials. Consider the tools of our meager workshop to be at your disposal. Okay. I guess I'm gonna craft the bitch. Uh, we need synthesized helm components. Is it green? It is. This will still be easy. Even with my bad gloves. This is fine. You could also write down a list of pros and cons. Yeah. <laughs> like asp nips they are tattoos tattooed on nipples no it was it had a shadow it had a shadow that's how i could tell it had highlights and shadow that means they're actually sticking out chat male nips are allowed it's true male presenting nips are allowed nipples if you have doubts over your ability to care or manage for the doggo then no but if you're uh the one in your head ultimately oh yeah I think I read that funny, but. All the huggles. The shadow's also tattooed on. Oh, okay. This makes more sense. I did it. Sir? Oh, thank the gods. The drink demon Smitty's stopped using me head as an anvil. Eh? Still bloody here, are you? I swear to the seven hells. I did it. For you. Oh. What's this then? Made these while I was trying not to puke on me apron, did ye? Fine bit of work. I never pegged you for an artisan, but even with this level of skill, you still found, you still felt the need to come up to old Geralt, eh? So what's the job? You want me to take this handiwork and of yours and make a steering mechanism for your flying boat? Is that it? Hmm. All right, I'll do it. I know the fire in your that fire in your eyes, and bugger me if I don't respect it. Might be as I'll need some time to get the work done, though. I don't fancy making finicky adjustments until the fog of booze is good and gone. Until I'm satisfied it's ready, though, I'll have the finished parts delivered to your shipyard. 
Thank you. Thank you, Carol. Oh, I was not expecting it to just eat me. Cat, you're back! Master Geralt agreed to the task? Excellent, excellent. I can think of no other major barriers preventing us from completing the Days of Quilon. Uh... Hmm? An airship? If the balloon is on one side of the airship, how is it not tipping over? Wouldn't you want the balloon centered? All blades stand ready to begin the extraction. Spare no mercy for these feathered savages. Oh shit. Fuck off. I'm not in combat clothing. Squawk? Who comes barging into Seizul's camp? Remember inviting armed thugs to lunch, Seizul does not. Save your indignation, beastman. You'll roast for kidnapping Master Tataramu. Kidnapping? See, see you any shackles around his ankles? Free as a bird, Tataramu is. How did you even find me here? How many times must I tell you to leave me be? Enough of this petulant nonsense, Tataramu. Father? Father? Ah, Chief of Highwind Skyways clan, you must be. This is the workshop for which you cause so much fuss. There are no proper tools, no materials. Why, it barely qualifies as a dumping ground for our factory's refuse. What is it you wish to do, boy? If you want to tinker with airships, the company has them in abundance. I'll have Coulson arrange for one of those new Garland Ironworks models to be docked in a spare hangar. No, father, you don't understand. This is not the same... This is not... Some game or idle pursuit. Squawk? Call my camp ground for dumping refuse, do you? Shove ceruleum hose up chairman's backside, Cecil Wood. If already there, Boomstick wasn't. <clears throat> what foul company you've been keeping. These birdmen have obviously deceived you. Do you honestly believe such brutish creatures capable of building a functional airship? You are the one guilty of deceit. The Ixal are the one who were able to take to the skies in the first place. Why do you insist on hiding the truth? Are you so afraid of damaging the company's reputation, or are you simply too proud to admit that we borrowed the knowledge of beastmen savages? Fear and pride can only weigh us down. Only by casting aside such ballast can we truly reach the heights of which we are capable. I'll not stand to be lectured by my own child. Cease this impudence at once. Sir, we really must be away. There are those two items of business in Limsa that require your attention, followed by a dinner engagement with Counselor Turston at the Coral Tower. Yes, yes, we're almost done here. Bring my son. If he decides to struggle, there is no need to be overly gentle. A small dose of discipline will do him good. Wow, what the fuck? Father, you cannot do this! Please listen to me! Tataramu, you will not. Stab you first with feathers, then pluck you. Then roast you, Cecil will.
All right. All right, Cecil. Squawk? Gone, Tataramu is. Taken, strangled, and stomped on. His dreams were. For first time in Cecil's life, wish to harm featherless one, Cecil does. Share with them secrets of balloons and now think they own skies they do. Diesel Quilan stays grounded. Integrate final components we cannot. Patience now. Wait and hope for Tataramu's return we must. Occupy so ourselves with crafting our needed parts. But if Chairman sets foot into Exol 9's camp again, stuff into sack and beat bloody with, uh, with tree branch, Cecil will. You go, Cecil. You do that. Dun, dun, dun. Reputation up. I'm now respected. Uh, yeah, new quests. Wider selection. Vendor, okay. And it expands a little bit. I think. Thanks to our diligent efforts, the Cecil Quillan now has a functional steering mechanism. Continue assisting the Ectel 9 to see an airship hybrid reach completion. I don't think I noticed a difference, to be honest. Bird is the word. Three. Bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. All right. So now we have this respected, and I have to get 990 points. Never be royal. It's okay. I won't be. Seizu appeals desperate to have Tataramu back at work on the Dezu Quilan. Also, if I've forgotten any of the voices, I'm so sorry. Squawk? Greetings, cat. Mood of the camp dampened it is. Dark and dreary. Lie dormant, Dezu Quilan does. Like deflated balloon. Fly without Tataramu's touch, it cannot. Rely on Tatamaru, we did. More than Seizu realized. Become heart of Ectol 9, Tataramu has. Despise this helpless feeling, Seizul does. Ask Cat to visit Gridania and parlay with high, high wind skyways, Seizul would. Squawk? Only fledglings sit and screech and do nothing. Tataramu needs to fly. And give him that chance, we will. Ka ka ka! So serious, Seizul has become. Bring small featherless one back to us, Cat must. Aw, he misses his friend. Found him. I'm sorry, were you addressing me? If you've a business proposal or seek employment, then I must ask you that you first make an appointment through the official company represent- Hmm? You wish to know Tataramu's whereabouts? I assume you're referring to Master Tataramu? Forgive me. I'm sorry, I forgot the master. But I must inquire as to your relationship with the chairman's son. I fail to see how someone of your apparent- Ugh, Judging me? Ugh! It's you! You were in that filthy Ixel camp! You're the one who conspired with those... Betalond? Savages to kidnap Master Tataramu! Well, I'm certainly not about to share any information with a disreputable... Uh, ruffian such as you! Shoo! Be gone! Ugh, now I shall be late in boarding the chairman's flight to Corthus. Thanks for that information. He was, has a very important meeting at the observatorium with very important people. You just gave more info than you knew. You again? However, did you know where to- Ah, well, I'm not stumble- Stumble? Like, I'll let- Oh my god, it's me. I can't read. I'm the one. I'm the problem. It's me. Well, I'll not stumble like that a second time. Now keep quiet. Chairman Tatabaru is engaged in an extremely delicate negotiations and is not to be disturbed. Hm? You're still asking for Master Tataramu? Ugh. Will you not be silent? If you absolutely must know, the young man accompanied us here as part of his continuing education in company management. His chambers are guarded by our loyal, not to mention lethal, retainers, so you can forget any plans to spirit him away again. Okay, ma'am. Is it? Is he here? Are you in here? Ah! Oh, cat! What are you doing here? Sezul sent you? Broken without me, you say? I never imagined that the absence of my skills would be so keenly felt. I'm flattered, but as dearly as I would love to stroll out the door with you, I'm afraid things aren't that simple. My father dragged me along on the pretense that I would be learning the trade then confined me to this room. I'm practically a prisoner. 
Did you see the guards on your way in? Should I attempt to take even one step across the threshold? Those company bought thugs will stop me in my tracks. You don't know me. Hmm, there must be a way past them that doesn't involve outright violence. I have it! You must need speak with Templeton, the Skywind's employee stationed here at the observatorium. He's aided us with component crafting before, and is one of the few people in the company I might consider an ally. Wily he may be, but it is that exact trait that will serve us now. Okay. I never gave you a voice. I don't think. Ah, good day to s good day to you, adventurer. What may poor Templeton do to serve you on this cold and miserable day? Which, come to think of it, fairly well describes every day on this godforsaken, croc-infested stretch of icy hell. Yeah, the mood. Hmm? Looking to break Master Tataramu from his confinement, are you? Well, now, I'm sure I couldn't possibly lend my assistance to such a shady undertaking. And I certainly wouldn't suggest to the use of a particular uh, potent sleeping potion. Wink, wink. Our cell swords have grown fond of drinking mulled wine in an effort to forget their freezing extremities. And I'm sure they wouldn't question the appearance of another bottle on the table. Twould hardly see be your fault if they overindulged and found themselves snoring under the table till morning. Ahem, away with you and your nefarious schemes, and be sure to pass on my regards to the chairman's son. Amazing. That's... This is... Questionable at best. Here, have some more wine. Half-empty wine bottle. You're welcome. Cat, what news? Was Templeton able to offer a solution to our dilemma? He gave you what? A sleeping potion? Well, I hope his concoction has no lasting ill effects. If past experiences ought to go by, those retainers should be well into their cups by now. I'll sneak past as quickly as I dare and meet you outside. Okay! Alright, Tataramu. Oh, shit. So far, so good. It would seem. Now, let's return to Seizul's camp before my father concludes his negotiations. I don't know who this is. I think it's the butler? Or assistant? A word with you, Master Tataramu. I was correct. Coulson, well, when did you arrive in Corthus? I it is good to see you. Oh, the mood changed so 180. I know what you're planning, lad, and you know what will happen should you go through with it. Your father will not tolerate this defiance. You've taken his side? I had thought that you, at least, would support me in this. Pray take a moment to consider your father's perspective. He only wants what is best for the future chairman of Highwind Skyways. The world you stand to inherit is not the world in which the rest of us live. There are commoners and there are kings. We are all born into our fates and the responsibilities they bring. I am no prince. I am but the privileged brat of an airship empire. And how did the empire come into being? Highwind Skyways merely copied the balloons of the Ixel and hopped a little, hopped a little into the air. I care not for our company's reputation or its profits. Fortune? Prestige? Its aims are so low. Sezul and his Ictal Nine are reaching for the heavens. They have grand dreams and a passion unlike any I've seen before. They seek to restore their lost wings, and God damn it, I would help them. I would share in that vision, soar in that same sky. That is all I wish for. Go, Master Tataramu. I will speak with the chairman myself. I will convince him of the depth of your desire, as you have convinced me. Y you will? I have underestimated you, young sir. Those eyes, that mask of determination. It is like witnessing a decades-old memory come to life. 
There can be no doubt that your grandfather's blood runs hotly in your veins. Colson. Quickly now, off with you. The longer I stand here in the biting cold, the more my hip starts to ache. Oh, for the fervent heat of youth. <laughs> Aww. Come, cat. We have kept Cecil, Cecil waiting long enough. Aww. You cute motherfuckers. Alright. Hi, Cecil. Let's go. Chief Totalock, your designer has returned. Uh, is he okay? Sezu? Squawk? Fogged up for no reason, goggles did. Not tears of joy, no, humidity. Listen well, Tataramu. Make up for lost time, we must. Work and work until Dezu Kualan is complete. Oh no. Until hands ache and sweat turns to blood. Yes, sir. Fuck. Uh. I'm assuming these are also Ictal? Because of the talking? Found you. Found camp we have. Reeking pile of dung hidden in forest. Not now! Knew you were sneaking about, we did, but no why not we did not until now. Preening feathers for forest people, making unsanctioned balloons, crime against goddess and our people you have committed. Harsh your punishment will be. Break it all, burn it down. Leave you to stew in fear we shall. Hear of this treachery, our Natalin brothers will. Squawk. Pluck their feathers, snap their bones. Okay. Yeah, I think there's more. <laughs> I cry. Cecil, what do we do? Found us, they have. Cecil knew this day would come. Squawk? Too soon. Too soon it is. If but complete Dezil Quilan, we can. I cry. Uh, I have achieved honor. Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Thanks to your diligent efforts, the construction of the Days of Kalan is almost complete. With the return of Tataramu, a few final judgments are now all that stand between the Ictal 9 and Distance guys. <sighs> I'm fine, chat. Everything's fine. <laughs> Fuck. Spread your wings and soar. Sezul has one last task he would have you perform. Uh, I am level 18 or over, so it's fine. Squawk? Day to be remembered this is. At last. At long last. Complete days of Quilan, we will. Rejoice, cry, soil self in excitement. Please don't. Quaw, quaw, quaw. Matter of attaching and calibrating final components it is. Then up, up, up into the sky before Natalan fanatics arrive. Task for cat, Sazel has. Final task to craft fishing co finishing component. Take these materials to Falgord float, cat must. Expect cat's finest work, Sazel does. I will do the best I can for you, buddy. Let's do it. Oh, wait, maybe I should have read. Okay. Well, no, I think it's just the standard. The facility is yours. Okay, cool. Um, Finishing component. That's just what it's called. What's this? All right. Well. I probably don't need to be this careful. No, I did not. I did it. Quickly now, quickly! 
Well, have that final component. We must. Here you go. I got it. Oh. Yes, exactly what we need this is. Final piece of Dezo Kalan. To Chief, Chief, to Totalok. Terrible news there is. Squawk? News? What news? Ooh. Heard from our little bird in Natalan we have. War balloon pilots have begun priming air stones, Tuzel says. Pr priming air stones? That, that sounds ominous. Yes, seek to harness blessings of Garuda, they do. Stones provide propulsion for balloons. Signal preparations for coming sortie, this does. Squawk sent details of assault Tuzel has. Fly here to Ectel and destroy Dizel Kalan's balloon squadron will. Squawk, squawk! Thick skulled zealots! Obey goddess or face annihilation, they say. Shriveled and dead, their souls are. The Ictal Nine is a gathering of crafters, not warriors, and this camp is defenseless against attacks from the air. We're doomed, aren't we? Speak truth, little no feathers does. Everything we have worked for. Go up and smoke it, Will. Cease your screeching, fledgling. Need to think. Cripple this attack somehow. We must. Cat, not so final was final task. Ask one more boon of Cat, Cecilwood. Dangerous mission for one true warrior among us. Stop war balloons from ever taking off, Cat must. But swiftly now, swiftly. Once they are airborne, soon float beyond our reach, they will. Make haste for Natalan and Snowy Corthus. Make contact with Tuzok Tot Tolton. Know how to sabotage assault, he will. Cat handles fanatics. Rest of Victol 9, continue with preparations for maiden flight. Huddle and nest and wait to die. We will not. All right, let's go. Featherless one is reinforcements promised by Ictal. Shh, keep voice down, you must. Wish to attract attention of these vicious air skulls. We do not. Thank your god's balloon squadron has not yet left ground. Flotation bladders are filled and ready, but take much time preparation of air stones does. Charged by power of vortex array stones are. Once stones are fully primed, load them into balloons and take off air skulls will. Before that happens, disable Vortex Array we must. No power means no propulsion. Simple enough, yes. Tools for sabotage Tezel has. Tuzal has. Uh, corrupted crystal shards. Insert these into turrets of Vortex Array and disperse elemental wind currents they will. But begin with primary turret you cannot. Disable secondary turrets first. Very important. Delicate and dangerous work. Disrupting flow of elemental power is. Look, featherless one. See you this glowing device? One of three secondary vortex turrets it is. Try inserting shard, yes? Okay. I'll insert your shard. I'm sorry, what? Excuse me? I said nothing. Very, very good. Good, very good. Understand how it is done now. Featherless one does, yes? Within Natalan, two more of these you will find. Sabotage both remaining secondary devices, then seek out primary turret. Once main turret is down, cease fending power, feeding power to air stones. Vortex array will. Then hurry back to Ectel and witness trial flight we can. Okay, secondary vortex turret, let's go. Two. All right, next one. They're all called that. Right. Let's go. There's one more. Okay. Primary vortex turret. Oh, I'm trying. Alright, we did it. Oh my god, I have punishment box. Fair. Squawk robbed balloons of propulsion featherless one has, but sense a miss something amiss, Tuzel does. Report to Chief Totalock, Tuzel will. Remain in Natalan and keep an eye on air, sc air skulls, featherless one. No, better option there is. From top of observ observatorium, observe both lands of Corthus and Black Shroud at the same time, featherless one can. Send small featherless one to join you, Tuzel was, will. Welcoming of sneaky Ixel at tower, they are not, squawk. 
Okay. Oh, I touch a ramen. Where have you been, cat? Have you not heard? Uh, no. There was another one of those vortex turrets devices hidden in a ravine in Natalan. Twould seem the Ixel air skulls were craftier than Tuzo gave them credit for. Let us continue to the roof and see what we can see. I love the phrase, see what we can see. There was only one... There was only the one war balloon that managed to prime its airstone, but I'm afraid one is all those zealots need. Zel zealots need. Without ballistas or even archers, the Ixel 9 can do- I'm an archer? Can do not to prevent their fanatic kin from dropping explosive munitions right into the camp. Ah, over there! It's heading south towards the Twelve's Wood. Blessed and bother it all. I feel so helpless. Why must fate be so cruel? Squawk, bring Balloon directly over Unbeliever's dung heap. Smash and burn their little toy we will. Why are the Ixel ripped? Uh, Chieftain, alone up here. We are not. Hmm? What's happening? Dezo Qualon, let's go. Oh, never mind. Good gods, it's the Blackjack. I know my father's ship anywhere. Father, what madness are you planning? <laughs> that boy's whims will be the death of me. I don't remember his voice, I'm so sorry. Him up. He did it. Ha <laughs> ha! What did I tell you? Sturdy Skyways construction. That beastman blimp never stood a chance. P please, Chairman, you endanger yourself and the company's future both. Uh, I believe I shall be sick. Oh, pipe down, will you? I've never felt this alive in years. And besides, Highwind Skyways is more has a more than competent successor. Let us arrange a meeting with him now, shall we? But what of your appointments? The syndicate waits your arrival in Ulda, and following that you have an engagement with Master Gigi Ruju in Costa del Sol. Cancel them. All of them. Hmm? He's using the signal lamp. M meet at Ixel Camp. Do not be late. You didn't tell me a time. How can I be on time if I don't know the time? Ah! Ha! Huh. He could have just used a link pearl, but Father would insist on using doing things the hard way. Come on, cat. Let us be off. That clerk is having a bad day. Oh, I'm in him. Okay. 
squawk to featherless one this day belongs. From Toozle about mid-air ramming, Sazel heard. What we ramming? Father. Colson had a few words with me. I had thought myself too old for one of his lectures, but apparently I was wrong. I have heard that the Ixal are people who lost their wings. A people whose greatest wish is to once more fly freely among the clouds. And that the invention of their balloons was a step towards reclaiming that which they once had. But perhaps we were the ones who truly lost the freedom of flight. Tataramu, when I look up upon your face now, I'm reminded of words I've not thought of in years. Spread your wings and soar. That was the slogan coined by our company's founder, your grandfather. Ka 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 ka! Stop! Spit Sizzle's sides, you will! Split, not spit. <laughs> Have I said something amusing? Ka ka ka! <coughs> Squawk! Spread your wings and soar, you must! Dazel Quillan's favorite saying it was. Your mentor said that? Then it was not only your technology that Highwind Skyways borrowed, but your philosophy as well. Well, they work together, so wouldn't they have possibly come up with it together? Chief Totaluck, I wish to apologize for the disrespect I have shown you. Without the contributions of the Ixel, my company would not be where it is today. My father, Tatanora, owed his success to the knowledge he learned under the tutelage of Dezel Kalan. On behalf of Highwind Skyways, I extend my fullest gratitude to you and your people. Squawk, enough! Make Sazel squirm in front of fledglings, Tatabaru will. Give thanks too, Sazel will. Brought dream within Ictal 9's grasp, Chairman's son has. Brought Ictal 9 within reach of Ayatalan. Tataramu, time to launch our bird into sky, yes? Yes, sir. Commencing trial flight preparations for the Days of Quillan. All members, all crew members begin pre-flight inspections. Tis a beautiful vessel. My boy was hiding some truly revolutionary ideas in that obsessive head of his. Like grandfather, like grandson. I believe you are owed a debt of gratitude as well, adventurer. Twas due in no small part of your actions that the dream of my son and his ictal colleagues now stand stands to become reality. Yeah, do you know how fucking hard I worked for these bitches? Daily I slaved. Dazel is watching even now, Sazel thinks. Arrive on Paradise's doorstep soon enough, he will, will. Spread our wings and soar, we shall. Hey. My dear cat, oh, the gratitude I would endlessly heap upon you. There are no words to express the joy I feel in this moment. But perhaps I am being premature. Why, the ship has yet to even leave the ground. I must focus on the task at hand and be sure that every bolt is tightened and every knot secured. There is, in f actual fact, one more request I would make of you. The absolute final one, I promise. This is a figurehead I've been working on. I'd like you to take the rest of the materials and craft the finishing component. Tis only fitting that our your craftsmanship binds the Desoquilon's figurehead together. Here are the items you'll need. Pray present them to Sezul and see what he that he we will have his blessing on the design. Okay. Hmm? Miss chance to empty bladder cat has. Unless wish to miss inaugural flight test cat does. Squawk? Figurehead component materials. Familiar design this is. When did Tataramu learn to craft traditional flying charm? Hmm? 
Fly feathers of figurehead serve to remind Ixel of ancestors and warmed balloon against capricious natures of sky, they do. Impressed with Tataramu's, Tataramu's foresight, Sazel is. Have Sazel's blessing to complete figurehead, Cat does. Crafting this component is simple matter, yes? Be sure then to pour all Cat's skill into task. I'll pour all of my skill into the task. Finish part and return to Tataramu before final inspections are complete, Cat must. See figurehead proudly attached for test flight, Sazel would. Okay. Oh, I can just do it right now. Oh, okay. Well, that's easy enough. I don't have to go anywhere. Oh, wait. I'm not. I'm not a crafter. Hold on. Please hold. Last thing I have to craft for these bitches. All right. Figurehead component. Let's go. Yeah, it's easy. It's fine. I was one away. Rude. Okay. I have it! Here you go, Tataramu. Cat, you brought the last part of the figurehead? Yes. Thank you, this will do perfectly. I think I'm ready. I must ready to entrust my life to the days of Kualan and aim for the highest skies. We are all but done with the last round of inspections. Twould be safest if you were to withdraw several steps. Only the gods know how this will unfold. I'm ready. Squawk, Ictal 9, arrived at long last. Moment of truth has. To Al... Al oh my god. Al Ayatlan. Oh my god. We fly! Ignite Cerulean Propulsion Engine. Cerulean gas. Primed and ready. Oh, that's somebody else. That's fine. Ka, engine fuel pumping. Squee, squee. Air pressure and temperature favorable. Engine output is steady. Instrument readings within expected parameters. Extend the wings. Open the throttle. Kaka, release moorings. Clear for takeoff. The Dezo Kulan is away. Fly it does. Uh oh. We worked so hard, how dare you? Oh, too low it flies. Something is wrong there is. Tis the witch's shroud. God damn it, why now? That sudden difference in ethereal destiny, density above the crown of the trees can produce turbulent air currents. A rare phenomenon peculiar to the black shroud and the bane of even the most seasoned airship pilots. Keep her steady, Tataramu. Ride, ride the wind. Don't fight against it. Extend rings to full trim. Release primary and tertiary ballasts. Ugh, the ship won't turn. Come now. Days of Quilan, is this all you have? Fly, damn you. We built you better than this. Fly! Fly! Fly, Tata! 
Captain Ramu, fly! Tuzel Holton the Unseen. Spotted Dazel Quilon from Nataland Vantage Point. Tuzel has. Indicate altitude of 5,000 yalms. Instruments do. Soar like bird it does. Soar like bird. Do they have much deeper voices than I realized? Too bad. High pitched bird voice. The test flight was a complete success. Twas a shaky start, but the days of Quilan and I both returned unharmed. And we reached our target altitude of 5,000 yolms. That's higher than any Eorzean ship has ever flown. A new aeronautic record, unofficial though it might be. Despite its impressive performance, however, the days of Quilan still cannot achieve that which Sazel dreams, to climb above and beyond the clouds and arrive on the legendary shores of Ayatlan. Ay but we'll continue to improve and tweak our prototype, and one day we will catch a glimpse of that floating paradise. There is no record that cannot be broken. By the by, Cat, there is something I have been meaning to ask you for the longest time. I know why I am here, but whatever brought you to the Ictol 9's camp? Wanting the Mountain Allied Tribe Quest? That's a good question. Well, one thing led to another. You, your original mission was to respond to an Ictol threat? Ixel threat? I... I do believe you've gone above and beyond and somewhere quite far to the left of the Call of Duty. I dare say the Twin Adder officer who enlisted your service is by now rather alarmed by your prolonged absence. Perhaps you should report back to Gridania and put her mind at ease. I suppose I could. That's hilarious. Experience? Yeah, I just wanted experience for crafting. That's it. Yes, Sergeant Winwissif. What can I do for you? Oh, the attack on Etat Spire. The captain mentioned that he'd sent you out to investigate further, but I'd completely forgotten you were still- Er, that is to say, the Ixil appear to have abandoned their plans to assault our towers. Excellent work, Sergeant. We must, however, remain alert and at the ready. The thought of those war balloons drifting over the city walls is one of our citizens' greatest fears, a nightmare that we must never allow to become a reality. I shall likely have need of your services in the days to come, so pray keep your skills honed and your blades sharp. Did you hear the news, by the way? There was some excitement here in Gridania while you were off trampling the underbrush. The son of Highwind Skyway's chairman, Tata Baru, suddenly vanished into thin air. Folk were crying foul play, though no body or blood was in evidence. Hmm? He's already been found? Well, perhaps now things can return to normal. <laughs> okay. Reputation up or now sworn. Let's fucking go. That's Ixel, folks. I'm upset. 